Yo, what's up, everybody? Good evening, good evening, good evening. This is your boy, D757 Dark Man for D757 Gaming. Today, I am back with Paradise Delta by Stay Awake Games. What's going on, Stay Awake? I see you with the face. Come on, man. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. I'm not going to rip and tear this game apart. I'm not going to make it worse than what it is. <laughs> Guinea Miles, we got Tribulation in the house. We got Jonas in the house. What's going on with you? So far, man, so far, I read the description of the game. I really think this is going to, this is going to please a lot of people. It definitely got me interested. Paradise Delta is an adult humor retro RPG that harkens back to the awkward period of the emergent technology between the SNES and the PlayStation era. We're talking about the 90s. The 90s, guys. I'm an 80s baby. I grew up in the 90s. The 90s was a great era to be a kid. I'm trying to tell you. If you were born in the early 80s and was at least five years old in 1990, you had an amazing childhood. I'm sorry to say it. I'm sorry to say it. If you wasn't there, I apologize. I apologize, but the 90s, oh my gosh. I can tell you stories. I should have a side channel where I just tell stories about the good old 90s. The clothes that we wear. The food that we ate. The food that they had. The technology. The games. How we saw graphics. Oh my god. So, Paradise Delta already, it does look professional. It is made with MV. We don't have the default font. Congratulations. Congratulations. You done. Batman animated series. Yes. X-Men. Yes. So many. Yes. The X-Men. I know which one you talking about too. And... Man, great shows. So far, you got an A plus. Stay awake. You got an A plus, A plus on the default. And also, I love when you hit go to the option. We got little different sound effects, like an error, like a like a uh, record player type thing. Like ones and twos, you on the ones and two with the. That's dope. That's dope. So, I already changed everything to. Well, the master volume, I changed that to 80. Everything else is like 100. Uh, we got command remember on, off, quest window on, main style menu, we want that full. Animate tiles on. Battle backgrounds on battle speed one two three four. We kept it on one. Okay, we don't have a always default. I mean always dash command. So maybe they're already dashing. Don't get me started, tribulation TMNT. TMT. I'm. A, I grew up as a. And when I was coming up as a kid, I loved the Ninja Turtles. Anything that has anything to do with the turtles, and I had turtles birthday parties. I I went and saw Michelangelo at the uh at the pet shop. You know, of course it was a guy in a costume, but still, six years old seeing that. Man, you're going to be surprised. And I still got my Valentine's Day card from the first grade. It was the Ninja Turtles peeping out the sewers. And it says, will you be my Valentine, Cowabunga? You know what I'm saying? I still have that card. I still have it. This was in 1991, guys. 
I still got that car. That's what, 30 years ago. Yes, I still have it. I still have it. I am old. <laughs> I am old, but it. I'm just glad. Glad I, I was able to, you know, I had a great childhood. I had a great childhood. And another era that I, I wanted to live in was the 70s. I wanted to live in the 70s as well. But that means I would have been in my 50s, close to 60s right now. And no, no, I don't, I don't want to live in the 70s no more. So without any further ado, this is Paradise Delta by Stay Awake Games, a.k.a. CW. Let's go ahead and launch this bad boy. And I still do go on YouTube and watch. Um, this game contains mature content, all characters, events. Uh, nice disclaimer. Th stay awake games. Love the logo. First time seeing the stay awake games logo. Pretty, pretty dope. Pretty professional. Welcome to Inatoria, the latest breakthrough in quantum travel by in the technology, a dimension between the physical, digital, and mental where the Eden with an e it Enaden, Enaden, anything is possible. I love it already. It feels so 80-ish though. This feels 80-ish. You are likely to have many questions about the unique properties of the Inatoria, but do not worry. All new arrivals are assigned an Inaden customer liaison agent to help them adjust to their new surroundings. Liaison. <laughs> It is common to experience minor nausea and or disorientation during the dimensional shift. Do not be alarmed. You will soon find yourself acclim acclimate acclimated to a new environment. Feel free from conventional disease where you can effortlessly sustain peak performance levels indefinitely. Peak performance levels. Already we get in, into the adult stuff you are near your destination where we eagerly wait your arrival please relax and prepare for impact a solid ground is restored once again welcome to Inatoria. with Inadin, you are in the hands of science awesome intro awesome intro this feels like it's some type of resort some type of vacation System initializing. This is so cool, though. Search and transport ID error. Transport ID not found. Code four. This reminds the music reminds me of Hotline Miami. I don't know if you guys play that game, but the music is so, so similar. Nice, I love it. I love it. Establishing access point in the 90s sound, like the error, the sounds like from Microsoft Windows. This is so cool. Establish a secondary access point. This is cool. Unit transport critical error code five requires manual update. Man, something is going on. Already the vacation is turning bad. But this is nice though. We got the little fuzzy in, in the background. Like it's definitely a computer glitch, an error, something is happening. System timeout, cargo loss imminent. Emergency override initiating and it's glitching out system reboot cargo abandoned. What is this? What is this? This is mountain peak. Oh Wow, it's like we in the digital world What? 
Custom sprites? What is this place? How did I get here? Okay, we could control... Oh, what? Okay, so opening... It's not... It's not the top button, but it's pretty much the B button, the open. Uh, Paradise Delta. We got the cuss, the old 90s Windows computer. Windows 98, Windows 97, icons. My stuff, stuff, food, weapon, armor. We got tank top, cargo pants. His name is Solomon. Cooking, crafting, plot stuff. My skills. Okay, we don't have skills, so definitely he's he's not a fighter. He's a stoner kid, so he like to get high. He like to smoke pot, as they call it. They didn't call it gas back then. They called it pot. You know, Mary Jane, MJ. Yo, what's up, DJ? That's my DJ. Go DJ. That's my DJ. Okay, we got cooking. Crafting. Man, this is awesome. We got the quest. Deets. So this is our statuses. Love the icons. Wow. For the states. Nice. I really don't have to tell you much. It's like you already know. You already know what it is. So we got a counter. Battles initiated. Confused. Undead. Okay. Okay. Flash cards. Wow. Nice. Calling it flash cards. Y'all don't know. I mean, they still use flash cards today. But, man, everything was like done in flash. That's how we used to study. Config. This is dope. This is dope. We got the old, the old icons. All right. I have to know how old are you? Stay awake, because you know your stuff. You know your stuff. Are you a '90s kid as well? This is pretty dope. And this is how they dress back then too. Graphic tees with some uh, skater pants. Thirty-five. So yeah, we are the same age. We are the same age. So you are an eighties baby. So you know how it was. You you was there. You know the blockbusters and all them great stores they need to bring back uh circuit city kmart we only got one kmart left in the state of virginia love the maps definitely have not seen maps like this tile sets like this at all so we have okay the world map is like um it's not explorable like typical RPG, but it seemed like it's level based, area based. But that was a nice intro. That was a really nice intro, but we don't know if this is the guy that's supposed to take that vacation but got screwed up because it seems like we're in the digital world. Something is messing up, but we really don't know much about this kid. Except he was trying to go to this one place and got freaking screwed up. This is crazy. This map is trippy. So imagine you're on, you're under the influence playing this game. This would be a trip. And I don't even smoke. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? It looks mean. Oh, snap. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, big guy. 
All right, so we got first person battle. I really don't, like I said, I don't mind first person battle. It just gotta be fun. You know, it, it don't gotta be flashy. It just has to be fun and it has to be balanced. But I'm digging the custom, I'm digging the, uh, the custom enemies. You know, it's giving us a new, a, it, it seemed like you drew it. You know, it looks good. It looks good. You, you definitely have shown us that you don't need no artistic abilities to, you know, to draw your enemies on paper, color it, and print it to your computer. You know, scan it and put it in your game. I mean, it's not the best art, but it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful because of what you've done. You created a horrendous billy goat or whatever this thing is. So we know we don't have no skills. We don't have anything, so. Okay, we could change ability. We could change and everything inside. So do we actually attack this thing? Oh, okay it's like uh that one game uh saturday night morning rpg where you gotta it's a timer okay get away from me help somebody help me boo so we gotta we gotta get in the middle for full damage i really like what but I really like that. I really like that. Okay, we earn roll point. RPs are called roll points. So, what is a roll point? I've got to get somewhere safe. So, what is roll point? Is that, is that learn skills? Maybe that's just something until we get to know exactly what roll points are. We just get them now. But trippy map though. I really like it. Lucky I get to experience Blockbuster, Kmart, and Circuit City in their last days. Yeah, the Circuit City that that's down here is now a Best Buy. But Circuit City is a um they still exist. They're just an online retailer. And I was definitely upset when they got rid of um they got rid of the uh, Radio Shacks around here. Because Radio Shack had a lot of the tech stuff. And they had a lot of cheap phones too. Like they had like uh, deals with like Sprint and T-Mobile. Where you could go get the phone from like Radio Shack. Like 50-60% off. Like a brand new phone be 60% off. You know it would be like $400 instead of paying $1,400. You know what I'm saying? At Sprint. For a new phone, the same as that phone. Oh, thank God, a town. There must be someone here who can help me. Reminds me of the Target ring from Lost Odyssey too. Yeah, yeah, Lost Odyssey, and uh, there's another game too. Matter of fact, it's called um, it's on the Switch. It's a trippy game like this, but not as trippy. Hello, help! Is there anyone who can help me? Is someone there? Oh dear, what are you doing out here? Get inside! Alright, so she invited us in. A stranger. Okay, I like, I like your house. No TV though. Of course, child. It's not safe to be walking around by yourself at night. Where am I? What is all this? Are you lost? This is the village of Inan. Where did you come from? I have no idea how I got here. One second, I'm on a city bus. When all of a sudden, I feel this huge pressure and I pass out. When I wake up, some robot is telling me I'm going to a different dimension. Next thing I know, I'm getting attacked by a wild beast. And then I found my way here. You got attacked by one wild beast. One. <laughs> Not a lot. One. Oh my. 
You're from Earth. And you say you just got here today? Okay, so I really like I really like the sound effect when the text scroll. That's pretty dope. Yes, like ten minutes ago. How did this even happen? I don't know how this happened either. We haven't seen anyone new here since the doctor arrived here a decade ago. All right, so we're on two. Di this this is a different planet because she said Earth. It was just like you described. Fifteen years ago, he came into the town lost and confused. Someone else like me? Where is he? I need to talk to him. He's still in town. I'm sure you would be so delighted. He would be so delighted to see you. Still here. What luck. Thank you for your time, ma'am. I got to find this doctor. Alright, so... Do this update the quest Maybe you should have updated the quest log Saying maybe find doctor That would have been look You know that would have been pretty cool In case A person like me A person like me Play this game For like 5 minutes Gotta go somewhere and come back and forgot what I What I'm supposed to do I am like that you know So I'm just letting you I'm just letting you know that Alright, so we gotta find the doctor. Do we got explorable environments? This also looks like the world do look like it's from uh, Mother or Earthbound. Love the music. Definitely goes with the theme, the environment. It's more as suspenseful. As well like Will this game have like Jump events Hello excuse me Are you the doctor Yes how can I help you You're going to catch a cold Standing in those wet clothes Be sure to have a shot of whiskey After you dry off <laughs> What is this is that real medical advice? <laughs> Never mind. What we'll brings you to my office? <laughs> I heard that you're from Earth too. I just have so many questions. Is is it just us? No, of course not. There's many others left over from the collapse. Some were born here, but I came more recently through a fold between the worlds. Me too. I just got here today. You got to tell me what's been going what's going on around here. Today, that's impossible. The gate hasn't functioned in decades. Well, I guess it's not impossible. The same thing happened to me. Oh, how many years ago was it? Wait. It was exactly 15 years ago to the day. Interesting. That must mean the anomaly occurs every 15 years. <laughs> what are you talking about? I can't process all of this. Can you start at the beginning? You're in a place called Inatoria. It was created over 50 years ago by a company called Inadin. They lost control of the creation and in the 70s, the only way back to Earth broke down and hasn't functioned ever since. There's no other way back to Earth? I didn't think so until now. Your arrival here could only mean that a portal back to Earth will open in another 15 years. Hey, <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. 15 years? It's a long time. It's a long time. Tell me about it. Whatever Eden tried, Inadin tried to create was doomed to fail from the start. Why did they build this place? Why does anyone do anything? Money. They thought they could profit off this dimension somehow. Transport, storage, entertainment. You name it. They tried it all before the coffers ran dry. 
and the gate home broke down. Can the gate be repaired? I don't know the first thing about quantum gateway mechanics. I'm sure someone is working on it. You don't even know. What have you been doing for the last 15 years? Drinking. <laughs> Drinking his misery out. Letting the experts figure it out. You can't just wait another 15 years to hope someone figure it out before then. Me coming here has mean something. You're getting here the same way and us meeting like this. It all has to mean something. We need to team up and figure this out. Look, I appreciate your optimism, but most of the people here are just normal folks. We don't know anything about the technology that got us here, let alone how to fix it. Let's just work together to see what we could find out. So he gonna join. This is our healer. He's a doctor, so he heals people. Worst case scenario, we meet back up at the mountain. I didn't get the chance to read that. But I am on the screen. 15 years later. Let's freaking go. This is trippy. So somebody else is going to come. I love this. This music is awesome, man. Definitely. It definitely had that retro vibe to it. We jamming, yo. I hope I'm going to get copyright strike. <laughs> this is dope creative rpg maker mv represent baby represent paradise delta this is so good like the intro is is amazing This is dope. I'm impressed. You have reached the end of the demo. Thank you for playing. Boy, I wish you would put that. <laughs> uh oh, really? Somebody back. Somebody is here. And 15 years later, what's going on? Where am I? No, God. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, we are a family friendly channel. That means anybody could be watching. Cuss words. I'm not really gonna. I'm gonna try to. <laughs> God darn it. Shucks. Darn it all. <laughs> oh, my. Yo, the doctor is receding. He still got the same outfit on. Don't mind him. He just mad because that's the second time he missed that portal opening. P portal? Let's cut the BS and get right to the point, kid. You just came out of a portal to Earth that opens once every 15 years. Portal to Earth? You mean... You, you mean... I'm not even on the same planet anymore? Sort of. Inatoria is less of a planet and more of a dimension. How on earth did I get here? I was just walking to the store and... Better drop to how on earth... <laughs> Better drop the how on earth thing. That colloquialism. Won't fly here. <laughs> you take this one, Solomon. I don't want to go through this again. I'm going to go get drunk. <laughs> he tired. Don't worry about the bill, dude. He just been here a while. He was hoping this was his chance to get home. <laughs> you said that this was the second time he had missed it, which means 30 years. <laughs> This is funny. This is funny. I'm sorry, guy. This is funny. Like, can you imagine? Can you imagine getting transported to this to this place and saying, "Yo, you stuck here 
for the next 15 years, don't even worry about what's going on. Just, just forget how, how, what, what uh, slain they spoke on earth. Drop all of that. Drop all your mannerism and just adapt here. Man, that's freaking, it's, that's freaking crazy. That's crazy. Oh my God. You can't be serious. I can't be stuck here for 30 years. I've got to get back home. <sighs> it's going to be a long day. Technically, it's not going to be 30 years for you. It should be 15. It's going to be 30 years for him and 45 for the doctor. So that means he got to be. Uh, he might be in his 40s. He's going to be old. Yo, Ryan, appreciate you. Love the voice acting, man. I tried, bro. I try. I got a, a bit bottle of water, so got to keep the uh your throat your throat quench. I'm Solomon. D -d Denver. What kind of name is Denver? The one I have. <laughs> Fair enough. He probably from Denver. Come on, Omelette. Let's kick it. <laughs> Omelette. Where, where are you going? We got to get off this mountain and get somewhere where we can talk. All right. This kind of reminds me of... Um, Wayne's World. Like, this guy reminds me of the Wayne's World dude. Garth. I think that's the name, Gar. The blonde, the one with the glasses, the blonde hair. All right, nerd glasses, flimsy concert shirt, increased blind resistant, thin as heck, observed band. You probably wouldn't know it. Officially licensed, I don't know, but it's forty dollars. Tight jeans, restricted, but it's always in style. Punk bracelet. It's got a little studs on it. Pleather. Plus two attack and plus one critical rate. Okay. Okay. Kind of digging this. Okay, he got he got skills already. I guess we activate these skills by equipping them. And ten. What's the ten for? I guess the skill, the points, and they have a ranking. They level up. Alright. Uh, I guess we gotta figure this one out. Beg. Appeal to the monster sense of mercy. Excuse. I got a million of them. A blind panic attack. Flail. Screech. A shrill fear based cry. I do not know what some of these do. But. We are gonna do flail. Flail. Uh, okay, yeah, we gotta equip them. Let's do excuse. Hold on, what are we doing? <laughs> I think, okay, they already equipped. Three out of three is how many times we could do them. Okay, okay. But we don't have Screech, so we're gonna equip that. Okay, Dark Man. You got it. You got it, dude. Okay, and we can learn. Roll points is the learning system. Okay. Prepare skills. Got you. Got you. Got you. So let's save this bad boy in case we get like uh, a crash or something. Some type of error. Then I gotta find where Stay Awake lives so I get him a piece of my mind. But, impressed so far, impressed. So this area is called Plymouth Peak. Plymouth Pass. Solomon! Okay. So, Mountain Goatee attack. <laughs> Mountain Goatee. Oh, hey, Denny's. What's going on? 
Is that goat attacking you? <clears throat> My goodness. Voice acting might be over. Ryan C said, love the old school windows. 95 looks to the graphics. Definitely. And if you notice, we got the icon, the old windows. 95, 94 icons. Triple H said, total loser. Fun battle system. Cool. Nailed it. What do you mean, aggressive creature? That doesn't make sense. Not to hear it makes sense. Why is the water like this? Why aren't there weird monsters? How are you so calm about this? If you have epilepsy, this game is not for you. Look at the background. Look at that's that's so trippy. That is dope. I like it. I like it. It it has that digital. We we're in the digital world. We already know that. And imagine this is how the sky look. You look up in the sky, and this is what you see. That's freaking crazy. I think I would lose my mind there. But that's for all the questions. If you're not careful, you're gonna. What the heck is this? Someone turn around here, need some help. Oh, snap. You summer tutorial slime. These things tend to appear when they sense someone they can lecture. What do we do? It's up to you. He just wants to teach you things. You can either hear him out until he gets exhausted. Or you can run away. Alright, so, man. We gonna guard. Let's see what he gonna say. Tutorial sound philosophy about the game. Totally pathetic. Everyone knows the basic try and true tap function. You free to well on it, but do you know what type of weapon you use to determine your weakness? There are three melee. There are three melee types: slashing, piercing, and bashing. They have a rock, paper, scissor style relationship. All right. So let's guard. Here's some more stuff. This is very unique. You don't have time your task perfectly, but it adds the damage you do. There's some penalty you fail, skip. It has no impact. Accuracy. Attacking again will, will earn you trance points, which represent your, your focus within each battle. Some of your skills may require TP as a cost to use. Alright, so I think I understand the mechanics of the game. Um, wait, before you approach, before you go, Approach enemies from behind for a free turn in battle. <laughs> He's uh, trying to get his point across. Guys, this is awesome. And he was nervous about me playing this. Like, real, seriously, guy? That pig looked like Oolong, though, from Dragon Ball. Patient. Okay, so we got skills with Solomon. We never had skills. In the beginning, so I guess you wanted to add it. Okay, let's do flail. So I think only regular attacks have the timing thing. <clears throat> the game that I've seen. I think one care one player like each each um player each character had like a different based on their well based on their weapon they had a different action thing like a time thing like one character had the CD the other one had like a guitar looking thing like you had to like uh match the buttons that on the screen and stuff like that but <clears throat> this is very unique this is very unique like you could really have a out different outcome in battle if you get a perfect every time so pretty much it's up to you what was that cue <clears throat> i wish we had some type of idea when we picked it up what it was is it money it's not money because we still got zero bits. All right, so let's uh, 
practice. Okay, try new moves to earn roll points in battle. So this is random. Like this is a random um rank one hit cell. Okay, so you hit yourself. Hit cell. So you try to move on yourself. Or you hit yourself to get points. Okay, Garo. Wow. Garo Shaper. A, a psychic blast of holy Garo. So I guess. <clears throat> my goodness. <clears throat> okay, it's flash card for cues. I love the health bar too. Like, is this the health bar? Like, the, where the battery and it got like the the cell the wi-fi symbol the stay true to the stay true to the nature i like it i like it but we didn't have wi-fi symbols <clears throat> not that i know of in the 90s okay wi-fi is mp okay that's pretty dope though i really like that this is this is totally different Maybe we did have Wi-Fi during that time. It just wasn't available to everybody. I know we had satellite, like TI-1, TI-2, T3, internet connection, dial-up. We had that. Staying true with technology, but that's something to look at. All right, so you said flashcards. points okay sell treasure at pawn shop for bits okay earn experience from battle okay so that's experience that's experience okay that's dope brown sloth what is this Is it under stuff? Okay, brown slot. It's, it heals plus 150 HP. Drink one, one hit. Strange smelling paste with healing properties. Okay. I like that. Just like older traditional RPGs, uh, some enemies drop experience cubes or experience orbs. And you get it. Pretty great idea. That's pretty great idea. But what is this though? Offensive wind that's flicking us off. <laughs> Ryan said, I had that dial up. I had that dial up, man. I'm trying to tell you. Then, like, Windows. Because what we did, like, we. My parents ain't paying for that. So what they. What they used to do, send it in the mail. You get like a free trial. But the kicker is, you gotta, you gotta delete it before your trial is up, or it's gonna force you to pay it. So we kept getting this, the free CDs and installing it, uninstalling it, all that, so we don't have to pay for it. And um, every time my parents need to use the phone, they be like, "Get off the phone! I need to make a phone call." And we be in the uh, the Yahoo chat rooms, just chatting away. We gotta get off the phone. I, I met this one girl on the Yahoo chat room. She lived in Arizona, and uh, I was like probably like 10, 11, and I liked her. Now I, I liked her, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't know her from freaking Adam. But it was very dangerous. Like, you could talk to anybody. Anybody was up there trying to talk to you, sell you stuff. But I'm definitely loving the map. Like, the battle backs and stuff like that. Looks pretty dope. Roll paper. Oh, great. You found a weapon. You won't be able to keep your... You won't be able to keep up unless you upgrade your gear frequently. 
Don't forget to pop that menu and load up on your new threads. All right, so. So let's go to roll paper plus nine. Unbreakable durability. So do we have uh, like a, a durability system? How do we equip it? First of all, my gear, the dart man, dart man, who can equip it? Okay, he got plus 17. Okay, he got two picks. He can equip it too, but it's not probably best. Error, error, error. Tight pants. <laughs> really? Man, we got joke if you wore tight pants. Like, you know, the Afro American community, you better not wear no tight pants to freaking school. you going to get joke. And my dad was like, he didn't like baggy pants or pants that sag and whatnot. I wasn't the type that sagged my pants. I always wore a belt, but I like baggy jeans. You know what I'm saying? Because that was the style. My dad sent me to school because he, you know, he got, he got mad because he ain't like those type of pants that I used to wear. Because my friend and my brother used to buy me those pants, like, like the... The baggy pants. My dad is so old school. So he got mad. He said. He stayed home from work one day. He was all. So. It was a Friday. Matter of fact. So he was like. Take them pants off. And put the pants I bought you. On. I'm like. Man. Really? Man. Them pants were so freaking tight. Like. I'm telling you. It won't like. Tight. Like skin tight pants but it ain't had no slack or anything if i had a wallet in my pocket you would be able to see it i went to school got joke i'm trying to say i got freaking joke man i started crying and everything bro i wanted to fight this i wanted to fight the dude that was joking me his name was sean i wanted to fight him man i was like man y'all not gonna be joking me a ritual save visual. This is a powerful magic circle that allows you to save your state or be recalled if you need to quit or if you die. Die. Die? Yeah, it happens. Best to save often because you never know when you're going to get killed. So the truth is, these things are relics from a long time ago and you don't need them to save anymore. Nice to nice to serve as a sensory reminder though it's also used to serve as transport to this kind shopping hub but i think that's been unbroken for a while okay so let's let let me get this straight i really like this like you telling us we could save here but we can save any time but it's not necessary because most rpgs have a save like this but also we can visit the mall a virtual a virtual shop and buy stuff this is dope and we're glitching out this is trippy Bag of trash litter the halls. I am so impressed with this. This is so professionally well made. Like I am I am shocked. Okay, this way we buy pants, laundromat. Okay, we can't buy anything. There's no merchants or nobody. But I am, I am like, I am impressed. Highly impressed. Highly impressed. Yeah, the escalators. No freaking doubt. Okay, so it, it costs tickets. But we're not gonna. Oh, it costs tickets, Delta tickets to fix it. 
we can't even uh buy anything yet so we're not gonna spend jack but how do you how do you leave this place okay you just pop out And another thing that I seen from back in the day, they brought the Dunkaroos back. Like y'all remember the Dunkaroos? It's like the with the kangaroo. It's the cookies with the uh, the cake icing with the sprinkles. And you just dunk it. Seven <laughs> Eleven sells them though. They like, I think they like a dollar. Yeah, they like a dollar. I said, let me get five of them janks. I bought one for my uh my wife and you know my brother-in-law, sister-in-law, so they get to try it. But every time I go to a 7-Eleven, it's like they keep them they keep them on where the register is at, like where you go check out that little shelf. There's a whole bunch of Dunkaroos like that. Fruit stripe gum, they still sell that. They still sell that. I really respect developers that allow their gamers to save anywhere because you never know, man. Like, you gotta leave, especially us adults. You got you gotta go somewhere, and it and it keeps and it keeps the backtrack into a minimum because I played many games where I had to leave, I can't go further, so I had to go all the way back to the uh to the beginning of the dungeon just to save. Then I gotta do that all over again. Like, come on. I mean, it's it's not it's not too big of a hindrance, but I know why some people do it though. I can understand why some people do it, but it's really encouraged to have that option. Era, era, that's pretty dope. I really like that. Find these experience cubes. So with these experience cubes, let's let's let me look at these flash cards again. Okay, increase your level and your parameters. So how do we do that? Do we go to my skills? So we got R. So that's that's definitely not defense. That's definitely not the cubes. Is it my stuff? What do this uh, glazed salmon do? 20% sound better than sugar fish. Can't be used in battle. Oh, we got the human in the house. What's going on, human? Man, I am playing this wonderful, wonderful game made by CW. I'm, I'm shocked. I am shocked. Stay awake game. Got some skills for real. Alright, defense curl. Fetal comfort. Defense goes up. Rank number one. That costs five roll points. I'd rather learn the psych up attack. Slap frenzy. Furious slaps. Definitely would like to learn that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and save my points. I'm going to save my points. What was that? Fibers. Okay, so this got to be for crafting. We don't want to leave this cave yet. This looks like the exit. We want to go down here. We want to explore because thank you, uh, Stay Awake Games, for adding rewards for exploring. Very, 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 
very recommended to put this in your game don't create big areas to explore and there's no reward at the end of the tunnel because you will have mad players okay so this is this is automatically applied so we just leveled up we just leveled up so how do we see okay level one so solomon leveled up okay solomon's level two okay so we don't have to do nothing physically with the cubes good so there's two different exits i don't want to go there let me go back and do the enemies respawn i'm surprised there's no enemies in this cave to begin with i am shocked most people will put random bats and random encounters see exploring pays off i love it they do not respond you already cleared this cave out yeah i was just looking and reading the chat at the same time I'm trying to get in my cross side mode but it's not working <laughs> it's not working all right so nah let me check this level you saw how he went up that ladder that was dope brown soft so far we got we got um balance mechanic like the battle the battle systems balance we got unique skills weird but unique i mean it does it do for this type of game battle system is pretty it's pretty fun you know we got the binary code in the background dope dope So I guess the enemies not responding could mean you don't want your players to pretty much overpower themselves. I can respect that. Like you gotta some developers go the route where they, they keep everything to a control. Like the the levels, the battles, the skills that you can learn, whether you choose the best ones or not. I could understand that some people could pull it off right some people can't whoa i was not ready for that i was not ready for that easier to balance that way plus i get lost easy so too many battles makes me bored got you got you so you're more focused on your your player having a great story and seeing great mechanics and exploration without the penalty of keep getting in battles over and over and over and over which can make them upset respect Okay, we got work shirt. You know what? We tired of him wearing the same shirt every freaking day. So he gonna wear this. He's gonna wear this. Okay, but we can, we need to defense twenty five. Let's check out his defense twenty two. He get a bigger boost from this though. So we're gonna put this in. Tuck or untuck, serving button down realness. Okay, I was expecting. I was expecting their uh, clothes to change, but I'm not gonna be one of those players. It's fine. How you already got it. So, no biggie. You know what let's um let's see what skill we can learn from him slap frenzy 
Superior slaps. Psyche up. Ah, uh, and this is dope. Instead of saying learn, it says old news. Pretty clever. Pretty clever. I really like that. Alright, um. Let's do slap frenzy. Let's go. Alright, so we gotta, um. Basic skills. Do we gotta prepare it? Yeah, so let's get rid of. I don't really know what this. I don't really don't know what that is. Excuse. Maybe the excuse is run away. But. That's probably the skill I may not. I may see what it do next battle. I wanna. I'm curious to what it does. Maybe it's just there for. You know, pun intended. Love finding these experience cubes. Let's go. Them a pass. Solomon's house. Hey, at least you don't got to worry about paying no rent, no mortgage, none of that. Era. 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 Okay, Solomon is gone. This can't be real. You saying I'm going to be stuck here for 15 years? No, no, I'm not saying that. You don't have to think of it as being stuck. It's not so bad here. No, this can't be. I don't understand why this is happening. There has to be a way back. There is, but it's like super complicated. You know how to get back to Earth? How? I'll do anything. <laughs> yeah, we all said that at first. I guess you may as well give it a shot and get over with it. Yes, thank you. Anything. There used to be a gate that transported people back and forth. But after it broke down, it created some kind of a glitch between the two planes. Where they overlap for every 15 years. For a second, every 15 years. This has something to do with the energetic wave signature of frequencies leaking from the wreckage. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. But those energies permeate in Atoria and can be focused and manipulated by our brain waves. I have a friend who thinks this is the key of being able to get home. Slow down. I don't understand what you're saying. The energies that make up this dimension can literally be sh changed by our thoughts and shaped by our intentions. I'm talking like a dream of sandwich into existence. Type S. You follow? I'm probably not qualified to explain this. Just think about it like magic, right? If you know how the energies here work, you can see them to affect things the first thing you need to do if you want to rough it here is to understand which elementary elementary you emanate limit orgy what more or less <laughs> everything here is attuned to a special element that guides how it powers manifest until you learn which element element energy you're compatible with you just be begging and screeching your way through life here okay that's why he has those skills because he don't have a uh, element energy dope concept dope freaking concept i have no idea you're saying i have no idea what you're saying and i think i'm going to have a panic attack it's going to be overwhelming. I tell you, I'll save you some time and just tell you that Aranya, the mystic, could explain a lot of this. 
Just head east over the bridge and follow the river to the village of Enid. Okay, that's why we had those trippy skills with Solomon, you know, 15 years later. Because he found his element energy and this guy doesn't have his. Oh no, I seen the movie. Oh, you have your fun though. <laughs> oh, um, any advice for me? Yeah, avoid fighting anything till you learn magic. I can't do this alone. It's not safe out there. You have to come with me. Nah, man. It's like super far. I got stuff to do today. Good luck, though. You'll be fine. Good luck. And you'll be fine. Don't really go well together. It sure don't. All right, so. Okay. I searched this and got a survival guide. What the world is that? Basic survival guide. Contain basic crafted recipes and techniques for surviving the wild. Are we going to open it? Yes, we are. But we can't open it. Okay, so maybe... Hold on, do we go on the crafting? Yes. We go to craft items. Fibers to make twine. Uh... So we need twine to make a wrap. So I see what we need to do. I see what we need to do. We should be able to at least rest. Get our HP back. My goodness, my dude. How are we supposed to heal? Greenhouse. We already know where he grows there. Got more fiber. We'll make that when we get some wood. We're not going to make anything now. But Raph, where? Uh, the water. Where is the water? Okay, I think this is Blossom River Bridge. I think this is where we're going to have to build it. Cross over. Because the bridge may be out. I don't know. I'm just guessing. When you play RPGs as long as I have, you kind of, you kind of have a, uh, a third eye for these type of things. So avoid enemies until we learn magic. I'm going to take your advice to the head because I'm not fighting nothing. I'm just exploring, chilling. So maybe we'll get like an axe to be able hair clip. He better not equip that. Plus two defense. Why not? Teeny tiny defense boost. Huge humiliation. So far you're doing a wonderful job with this project. The uh the story is 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 great. It's very interesting. Like, what's gonna happen? Like, are we gonna get a new character? It's gonna be 15 more years. Like, what is going on? These dudes is really missing the time of their freaking life. And this is the doctor hanging on the freaking cliff. It's that guy from before. Hey. You need any help? Oh no, I'm good. Step back a bit though, will ya? Oh, it's you. Off to meet Aranya yet? My, aren't we ambitious? Thank God you're here. This world's so frightening. Yeah, it could be overwhelming. You haven't seen a shoe around her anywhere, have you? Your, your shoes? And he is barefooted. Misplaced them a while ago. Don't worry about it. I'll find them. Right. Well, I can help you look for them. Maybe on the way to Inan. I know what you're trying to do. I don't need anyone's help. You clearly do that. You, you, ha! <laughs> you clearly do, though. You're in over your head. You should just give up like Solomon. I can't give up before 
I even find out what's going on. I have to find Aranya. I guess I could get you as far as in it. Thank you. I really like. I really like what you're doing with this with this game, cause for real, I would have thought Solomon would be the main character. I thought Solomon was gonna be the main character, but uh, he isn't. Yo, what's up, Benjamin Granadas, aka Take a Prendo, is in the house on the Facebook side of the stream. How are you doing? Yes, this game is good. I love the graphics. I love the custom, you know, the custom sprites. Man, I am Jared Mildo. It's French, but thanks to Solomon, everyone here pronounces Mildo. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. I heard your name is Denver. All right, so we got the dog. Let's check this. Let's check this bad boy out. Manila folder. Razor sharp edge on the crisp Manila folder. And y'all don't know paper cuts do. They sting a lot. They sting. They sting. So he can wear nerd glasses. All I did was hit best. I'm, I'm glad you changed best. You changed optimize to best. Kind of get tired of seeing optimize. You know, we got to be more. Uh, we got to be more what you call it. Uh, personal with our game. So renaming certain stuff. Is um, very highly recommended. And he's a Hala wizard. Like I really, I really, really encourage people create their um their own elements, um uh, states. Like try to go outside the norm and not you know give us something that we already know. Like I. I want to figure out what this state is like what's what what is the weak against what is opposing against you know this element like a custom element instead of fire and ice water and all that stuff i mean it could be pulled off so i would figure since he's a doctor man he'll have like a healing move but he doesn't he don't have no healing kind of doctor is this okay, I thought we was going to make like a raft but apparently we're not this is a demo 3 hours publicly available 8 hours unavailable maybe 20% of overall vision I see that's still a respectable bit complete you should be proud agree with Ryan thank you very much and I agree. That's a respectable demo amount. And so far, to be honest, so far, what you have shown, what you have shown me, uh, I'm highly impressed. Like, You know, we got to get, we got to get our, um, we got to get, um, you know, the, the first part of the story out of the way first, but it's very intriguing though. Like from when the game first started to tell you the truth. Soon as that first uh with the with the uh the cyborg head, the, the computer head. Man, you you had me sold right then and there. I'm like, this is what engine is this? There's no way. And the thing is, man, I don't know if if this was hard to make, but still somebody 
You did it. Okay, we got another manila folder. Maybe for him, plus one attack. All right, so this is a blunt weapon. This is a blunt weapon. This is a, sh this be considered sharp. And they both unbreakable. You know what, we gonna keep, we gonna keep that. In case we fight enemies that may have those weaknesses. But we got to figure out how do I get that chest? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, do I get it from here? We got to figure out the the enemy's weakness, period. Like, which one are they weak against? Are they weak against blunt, hit, or uh, sharpness? see the enemy down here i'm gonna fight all enemies i ain't leaving not one not one alive all right so we're gonna do this skill paler attack oh man i almost got it let's do uh slap frenzy okay that's just one 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 hit or it could be random could be a random attack but offensive win i seen it all though i seen it all pretty pump this game getting more lps i thought it was pretty awesome in the earlier form and i see a lot of extra polish and improvements thanks human oh yeah i would definitely going to check out the other gameplay of this game to see the difference to see the change i seen the notes that you put on itch but it's kind of really hard to uh you know to see exactly what change was made and why it was changed without playing it i mean without seeing it in action so i would definitely love to see the changes like on another video and then and another streamer playing it and what they think about the game. All right, my only, I think I went too far. I wanted to check that cave. Yeah, I got, to, I'm sorry guys. I got to check every freaking thing. You know, I might be missing something. And the enemies don't respond, so that's good. We just, oh, I guess they do. But we're not gonna fight. We're not gonna fight. We're gonna run. We're gonna run. Yes, we are. And this is this is uh, inspirational too. Like, I'm telling you, I seen a lot of amazing things with RPG Maker. I seen side scrollers i seen uh zelda like games like what you can do with this engine is endless it's a lot i even seen somebody created a like a kids learning game like teach them how to count you know their numbers all with rpg maker like it's crazy like what this engine what this engine is capable of And you know what we don't see a lot of? We, um, I seen games. I mean, it's like a person put in a haunted house. They got to pretty much get out. They got to solve, you know, puzzles and stuff. I like those games as well. I seen one really, uh, made well done with RPG Maker. 
you know, play something different other than the stuff that we see every day. And for the price, not bad. But I'm telling you guys, the RPG maker that I had for the PlayStation 1, I mean, it's good, but my goodness, like, imagine, like, just writing the story. And y'all already know how RPG, you know, like, the typing and stuff is a lot easier. But this game, you gotta, like, move the controller to each letter and type your words out like that but we were so nice with it though like we was really nice with it but we kept everything like short into a minimal then we just um uh, save everything on your memory card i had like a 12 1200 block memory card because you know the playstation the playstation uh default size is 15 blocks So yeah, this definitely has that 90s feeling. But the description of the game, the description of the game would makes you think that you're inside of a video game. Like when you said the NES and the PlayStation era. That's what I thought was about like some kids, you know, get trapped inside of a video game and they go through their their favorite games. Like in person. Like they're trapped inside the games that they play. Alright kid. This is as far as I go. No, no. You can't abandon me here. Shut up you brat. We're all abandoned here. You'll find your way eventually. I don't want to find my way here. I want to find my way out of here. <laughs> well you're on your own. I'm too tired to walk this road again. Fine, just tell me where to go. Ah. <sighs> you want to catch a boat to the bit city. From there, head to Mage Alley. You're fine around you there. The city could be dangerous, though. So make sure to find an escort. An escort? Thanks, I guess. Good luck, Dallas. Wait! When I find my way home, where can I find you? There's like five buildings in this town. I trust you'll find me. <laughs> Facts. Five buildings. Okay, we got the RX building. Out to lunch. Alright, Ryan C. Really appreciate you, dude. I see you later. Okay, this is dope. Got the little garbage pot up inside and press against the window. Guess we got a hoarder here. Condemned destruction has been deemed unfit for human. It's a lawful use to occupy or close. So it's a hoarder inside. Do you like being a boy? Huh? What kind of question is that? Excuse me, sir. You're a fishman, right? Ah, oh, darn. My cover is blown. What gave me away? Hey, <laughs> hey, right. I, um, was wondering if you may have a fishing boat. Fishing boat? Sure, I got a fishing boat. But all the best fish are within stump this up to up the shore. No, I don't have a fishing boat. I can't afford that ish. Ha <laughs> ha. But thanks for reminding me that I'm poor. I'm sorry, I didn't. F all. Ha! <laughs> Yay, we got to end. We get to restore HP. About time. Oh, a customer, welcome. But we don't got no money. Oh, this is like a hotel? Yes, exactly. You can rest here to recover your weary bones and restore HP. It's only been, it's only 10 bits a night. Sorry, seems a nice place, but I'm just looking around. I don't have any money right now. Oh, that's okay, dear. You feel free to take a rest. No one really come by here anyway. 
Thank you. Check these drawers. Let me check these drawers. Nope. Take a rest. Let's go. She about to do something to me while I sleep. Oh. How long you been here? Okay, so we do have to hit the action button to go indoors. Dr. Mildew say he does so much for the town. The least I could do is let him stay here. Let me know you see any shoes out there. So that could be a side quest. Or how to use magic. <laughs> Not dying is definitely a reward. Facts. Facts. It's a nice size house. Really? Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? I once knew a guy. You like you look like him. He wasn't either. Oh. Man, he is wasted. Case of emergency. Break glass. Uh let's break that bad boy. Alright, so what was we just got? That's a weapon? Bottle of wine. An open bottle of wine. Oh, I know who to get that to. We know who to get that to, don't we? Okay, that's the end. What the heck? <laughs> no way! No freaking way! Help, bedroom intruder! I'm being robbed! What? Man, forget it. We going all out. We going all out, bro. That dude got a freaking gun. That dude wrote, uh, we not going back. You know what? Let me save it. Let me save this game in another slot. Oh, we can't. Okay, we to say. Let's go in here. Oh, he's gone. He broke the glass. He is out for us, boy. I'm trying to tell you something. Come on, can I have another cookie? I do wonder what it might look like if Dr. Mildew found another place to stay for a while. Yeah, he got your bed on his in your living room. Oh Tribulation says this is a game I definitely pay for. I agree. Always free. Gladly accept donation on the itch page. Oh snap. I'm curious what this half naked man is going to do. Get away from me kid. I got a headache. Okay. Okay. Thought he was going to shoot us. You're doing good God's work, Rum Randy. I don't know what I'd do without you. Happy to help, my dude. You give the scene look and I'll be there. Okay, he's getting us up. You have a boat? Yes, it's a key part of my cell booze across the ocean business model. 
I need a ride to the big city. Well, it's too bad I don't run a travel agency then, eh? I'm sorry. I don't have actually any money. All right, I'm out. Call me if you want to buy wine sometime in the future. Wait, um... Didn't he call you Rum Randy? Yep. But you sell wine? Yeah, it's an old name. Product availability fluctuate quite a bit these days. I built the ship during my vodka biting phase. Maybe you should come. Maybe you should go with some generic that always works like booze cruiser or something. Nah. It gotta have that alliteration. But booze boat, I like it. And what will I be called? Um, Sammy Spirits, Inebriating Abraham, David the Drunk. Sammy Spirits. Sammy Spirits, huh? I kind of dig it. You say you need to get to the city? Oh, yes, please. Very much. Which one? <laughs> um... That's something that my daughter do. I be like, girl, what you want to eat? She be like, um, I want, like, really? Come on. Well, uh, I'm heading back to mobile, and I suppose I might got some room for you. That would be great. Do you know if the mage alley is there? Yeah, that's in mobiles, all right. But you got to do me a favor first. I'm stuck here. I do anything. There's been a mole outbreak in my cargo. Oh shoot! We already know where we gotta go. Yeah, somewhere along the line, I gotta suppose to you know it all. Tutorial slime. <laughs> you know how persistent they can be. <laughs> Can't say I'm familiar. Well, no problem. You should be able to handle them. Just this is what they have to say, and they should be exhausted in no time. All right. So, pretty sure we got to go to that one area. Okay, how do we get that? Then we got to get that dog something. Distract him. I think this is the house. No, it's cargo. Is a uh, storage room. Okay, is is this it? That ain't it. That ain't it. This is that lady's house. All right, All right let's check out quest again. Clear out Rum Randy's tutorial slime. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is this is the annoying part. Oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta, we gotta. Ah, uh, this guy. Yeah, how did we equip that thing? This is accessory, right? But it brings your luck down. My goodness. My gear. We can't we can't equip it. Oh, pin it to our armor. I'm tripping.
Okay, so bashing, bashing overtakes slashing, slashing overtakes piercing, and piercing overtakes bashing. Magic and burst take additional damage from all melee weapon types. All right, so go to gear, armor. Okay. How do you pen it? All right, Jenny Miles, go eat dinner. Don't eat everything like in one sitting. You know what I mean? Leggings. All right, so no, we don't want to strip him. Hey, dude, what's up? This is your boat, mighty vessel, bro. Mighty vessel. She in a good state too. You know, a good state, state. Cause then, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we got regain, bestow, resurrect, protect, shell, recoil, taunt, grudge. Okay, damage, restore, then release. That's new. Sympathy, heal and share between lean allies, highest, magic cost rate reduce, inoculated. One end or two ends? I do not know. I guess it depends on the country. Prevents harmful states. Okay, we got poison, venom, silence, confuse, charm, rage, sleep, stone. Skip turn does not wear off. Wow. So we got states that don't wear off. A sleep wears off over time. Undead. We got undead. Healing causes damage. Weak and curse. Love the icons, my dude. All these tutorial slimes. My goodness. This mission. This owner have no sense of defense, so we gotta fight. So we just guard. You ever notice the color border around the turn indicator portraits? Well, it ain't for no reason. The color tells you what type of energy emanates from your target and subsequently reveal its energetic weakness. Uh, I'm trying to see. Wax poetic. Some skills might not have an icon like this one. The top color to tells you that it's a blue element. It would not be a good idea to use that one on me. When the element of a skill is the same type of the target, even when healing, it would be less effective. But if you use a skill like this on me, the bottom color tells you that it would be super effective against purple and blue elements. Okay. So. Okay, so the top is effective against the bottom elements. I think I understand. Scholars gave the elements fancy names, but most people refer them to, by the colors that share the same first letter. G, Garo is green, Pala is purple, Ru is red, y Yigni is yellow, and Bayou is blue. Don't worry, there won't be a quiz. Okay, see, this is what I was talking about. Like, you have your own you have you, you took the element system and just renamed it you made it more unique to fit your game like 
that's that's freaking dope i really i really uh respect that and encourage that that people do that in their games give us a new elemental uh system that we're not even used to you know they got a whole cooking system in this game right fry an egg or eat something dang Take this basic cookbook. Don't ask where it come from, but give it a rinse before you use it. Okay, we can't talk to him, right? So I can't, I can't, I can't pin this in the armor. Open up your stuff, pick your armor, pop that baby on. See, we don't have none of that. See what I mean? I think we're, I think we're good. Oh, never mind. All you gotta do for the pins, go to your armor, do my stuff, part of the menu. Oh. Oh. I can't use it. Oh, shoot. Okay, I see. I see. I'm slow. I am slow. Dude, that looks awesome on you. I never felt so proud to be a slime. Okay, they call flares. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. I like that. I ain't mad at that, my dude. Oh, dang. Bet this nerd doesn't even know that you could assign us all menu options to... Hold on. I bet this nerd doesn't know, even know that you can assign all the menu options to hotkeys. That freaking slime. Sweet man, thanks for the help. Those things swarm when they feel like they got something to teach you. I'm too stubborn to pay them any mind. Anyway, I'm ready to bounce wherever you are. Ready to go? Let's go. Oh wow, that's the big city. That looks nice. Uh-oh. So this is the Bit City Mobile. I wonder where that mage alley is. Just a second, I'm almost done. Nice and simple. At least he got red back in. Can't stand that road stuff. I hope trade is back normal soon. It's so god darn frustrating. We used to have the finest selection in the tutorial, but shipping channels have slowed so much we can only stop level one equipment. Quality textile finest. Okay, here's our escort. Hey baby, looking for a good time? Um, hi, I'm new to the city, and I need to find an escort. Well, you're in luck, baby. You found one. Oh, really? What luck? You have no idea just how lucky you are. <laughs> I need to find my way to Mage Alley. Sounds good, baby. It's to the north. We can find a nice private place to talk. I'm Denver. It ain't so good. I ain't so good with names, but if you're looking for something to yell, they call me Agnosia. So she's a fighter? What? Are you kidding? Are you serious? What's her skill? Practice Rue attack. So she's red. She got Rue red. Okay, let's go. I done seen it all. I got to get that orb. 
this is the last thing I do. Oh, wow. And we got exploration. No, I don't need nothing except to get home back to Earth. That's what I need. They got enemies in town. Okay, what's this? Doc Lobster. All those, let's do real attack. Okay, okay. Right, I think we should have. We got 36 Delta. Delta 36. Like, what does that mean? Deltas are your overall game score. Okay, that's what that is. Okay, I was like, hold on, what, what in the world is that? All right, so what I was going to do? I was going to, uh, uh, what I was going to do? Save it. I was going to save it. Oh, skills. Learn skill defense curl at nine. She's a rude witch. Okay, we can add new skill slots, but this is gonna take a while to learn. And we need RAM chips. Bits fruits, let's go. Give us our free attack. We want everything. Oh, we missed. Really? Perfect. Let's go. What? I can't believe we missed on a on that. Every catchy tune, indeed. But yeah, uh, if y'all guys, if y'all have played, of heard of Hotline Miami. Man, you love the music in that game. It's a fun game, the uh, the the platinum too. I know one trophy had to die a thousand times, one thousand times for a trophy. It took forever to get. Just dying on purpose took forever. Got the egg. So, oh shoot. I don't know how I missed that. This person not even talking to me. Ah. Uh, these are parts in games that I definitely sometimes don't like searching everywhere it's like man where do I go and it could be something so freaking simple stand on the chair nope. don't go here Great job with the music. Definitely 
very catchy. Most games need great music like this, I'm telling you. Alright, I am... Don't know how to get to that side, but we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure out how we're going to get that treasure chest as well. But I may have missed something. I think I am. Here. that person why is that person there are they dead they don't do anything these boxes you figure you get through them but you can't Your boy. May have met his demise. Talk to the dark haired guy in front. Really? Oh my goodness. You got to be kidding me. Ha <laughs> ha. Really? So it's important to talk to everybody. Someone was telling me to talk to him. To be honest. I'm not even lying. You might be like, yeah, right, D7. Seriously. I was going to talk to him. I didn't think it was urgent. Let's see what excuse look like. Oh, maybe that works on humans. If we do fight humans, not sure. He got one HP left. It's feel like a right things game. One HP. That's the magic number. One. Yeah. Sound like a Dr. Dre's beat. Doo -doo -doo. Yo, this is dope. This is dope. I like that. Very attention detail. There's that dog again. <laughs> what the heck? This how we get the chest. Nope. That's how we get the chest. Cheese. Alright, I wanna get I wanna go too far and get lost. Let's go ahead and save this bad boy.
Savannah Park. Who's this person? To let Cynthia make official. So I guess she's like running for governor or some type of. If you don't have no. When you use a range type weapon, you take increased melee damage, but are less likely to be targeted by enemy attacks. We can't even sell nothing, so. It's all good. I guess we're not gonna start getting money and stuff to be learn our magic. What's the password? Ain't no freaking way. It's not the password. <laughs> I think it's password. Come on, Dart, man. Never mind. Laundromat. Oh, the good old laundromat days. Okay, bad status. States clean. Okay, because some states. It's on your clothes. Okay, okay. No. We don't have we don't have money, lady. What you What you want us to do? Hands off! Free press. Got the green screen. Let's go. Mage Alley. Yes, we made it. Mobile tub and tan. Simple lock. See, we don't have a lock pit. What the hell? What is this? The magic gas and food is said to even affect your state. It's no wonder why his restaurant is on Mage Alley. Normal weapon have the vulnerability by carrying a piercing type weapon that would take your digital slash damage. But a slashing type weapon leaves you open to more damage from bashing weapons. It's all so much to think about. I said H with that. That's why I'm so thankful for the magic type weapons. Phew, suddenly my life is being so much simpler. The main character reminds me of Johnny Bravo. Uh. Uh. Like, the yellow hair. He kind of reminds me of Garth from Wayne's World. From Wayne's World. Wayne's World. The damage penalty is smaller. And the trade off is glorious for us magic users because there's no better way to boost our will and sight. By the way, Varenia, is your game. I will be playing your game next. Just letting you know. Just letting you know you are next. Oh, I forgot the best part. If you level up while using a magic weapon, you could gain permanent increase to some, to some parameters. So what do you say? Want to add some powerful magic wands to your arsenal? Don't have any money. No loitering, darling. Hurry up. <laughs> make your wish list and make room for fan customers. Wow. You dirty, dirty. Permanent plus will on level up. Oh, okay. So when you level up, you get you get a permanent ink. Okay. I was wondering how that was, how how you implemented that. 
Okay. I wish we could sell. I like this one. Kind of unique. It's very good, man. Like, a lot of custom stuff. And pretty much everything seems to be custom. In the music. In the, the theme. Thanks for your help. I think this is the place I was trying to find. We can't do it in there, baby. There's too many people around. He don't even know what she is. That's the sad. He's slow. But I can see what you mean that by Johnny Bravo because he got the same pants on and the same shirt. Why don't we go around back? You can experience the thrill of being afraid of getting caught. Caught doing what? Oh my God, you're a hooker. You say you need the escort. I'm full service, baby. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I wasn't looking for that kind of escort. No need to be shy, baby. We can take it as slow as long as you can pay. I'm a minor. <laughs> oh, oh, are you serious? <laughs> I shall beat you. <laughs> what was my time? That is funny. I guess if you pay me for the time we already spent together, we don't have to escalate this. He don't got no money. Won't you with him in the in the wand shot when he said he don't got no money? Please don't send your pimp after me. Pimp? I don't need no boss. I am an independently wealthy, sex positive <laughs> boss. It ain't getting pushed around by some pump. Let me just take a minute to figure this out. The clock is ticking, baby. I'll be waiting. That's crazy. I don't know what he gonna do. She want her money too, bruh. Hello, are you Ar Arania the Mystic? Yes, that's me. How can I help you? Nice, finally meet you. I'm Denver. I was sent to find you by my friend Solomon. I see. Has it really been 15 years already? You must have a lot of questions. Yes, do you know how I could get back to my home? There are many theories, but no one has found an answer to that yet, I'm afraid. There must be something I can do. You take it the first step by coming here. Let me take a look at your palm and we'll see where we'll go where you will go next. Oh snap, I got the same I got the same mark on my hand. Freaking dope. I'm loving it. What is it? This line here is broken. I've seen this before on Solomon and one another. Jared. Who? I guess they call him Mildew. Oh, yes, Dr. Mildew. No, he wasn't the one I was referring to. The one who came before him is called Bremen. He shared this line with you and Solomon. It seems that everyone who came to Entoria through the anomaly has this line except the doctor. What does that mean? The doctor was from here, right? It means you have potential power to command a great deal of fluence here. I don't understand. This is a great responsibility. Solomon can attest. Responsibility? Yeah, right. That guy doesn't have anything to teach me about responsibility. You can learn from his mistakes. And save yourself from heartache. Are you going to tell me to give up too? I need to find someone who can help me get out of here. I'm trying to, child. But you are not making it easy. 
I can help you unlock your potential. It's up to you to grow it and control it. What potential are you talking about? What power? Have you ever wondered from what the fame came from? I still have no idea how anything works around here. To be honest, everything here terrifies me. And I don't want to learn about it. I can sense your anxiety. That wild energy radiates from you constantly, shaped by your fears, anxiety, desires. Those forces accumulate over time and can manifest in all kinds of ways. They could become a majestic fruit bearing tree or they could become a twisted devil of pure hatred. Are you saying I'm creating these monsters outside? Not intentionally, and it's not just you. We are all influencing the energies of this world. And we must take the responsibility for the way we shape it. This is so overwhelming. We'll take it one step at a time. First step is controlling your power to understand it, define it. There are five elemental energy types that make up all code and matter in an inventory. Once we determine which elementary you are naturally attuned to, it will give us a roadmap how for how for how to develop your abilities this i can help you with but from there you must forge your own path i would suggest you visit bremen vale he was the first to come through the anomaly and has seen the world adapt through the chaos in the aftermath of the collapse and watched as new leaders rose and fell he has spent nearly 50 years honing his powers here and he believes they will be the key to opening your path back to earth. The first like me, I will have to talk to him. Before you go running off, we still have our business to discuss. Awakening your element is not free. I haven't been able to find any money. I spent this much, not a problem. I'm also a collector of favors. What kind of favor? I will decide when the time is right. You made the same deal with Solomon. I trust you won't disappoint me. When you are ready, please stand in front of the obsidian mirror. She about to go close. Oh, thought you about to lock that door. All right, by participating in this ritual, you agreed to either complete an unspecified favor for me at the undetermined time or at that time, pay me for my supplies and service it with interest. My goodness. Everything in Tori was either brought here from Earth or manifest from Delta wave projections and compiled by one of five energy types. Each of those elemental energies have two other elements that complement them. You can learn to harmonize with the vibration of compatible energy. You can maximize your potential. I'm losing you. In layman's terms, there are five elements. Garo, Igni, Pela, Ru, and Bayou. Each represented by a color beginning with the same first letter. Before you can learn magic, you would need to find out which of these elements you are predisposed to. As a result, we would discover your energetic vulnerabilities. First, I will have you drink an energy neutral tea that will quiet in the non native and subtle energy clouding your natural aura. Next, I will dim the lights and take a picture of you against the mirror with a special film and camera. Then, we identify the aura type in the picture and I instruct you in how to enhance your innate power. Let us begin. Okay. This is pretty dope. Okay, you drinking the tea. Okay, he's yellow. I saw yellow. I saw yellow. A yellow aura. Excellent. We could clear see yellow aura. Congrats, you have a igni res resonance. What does that mean? Were you even listening? 
That means your skill will be most, most effective against Gyro and Pala type enemies. Okay, green and purple. And you will be most vulnerable to damage from blue and red skills. That system is so freaking unique. Like, like, how did you come up with that? Like, that's that's pretty dope. As you spell energy, you gain roll points, which you can use to learn new skills. You even earn some roll points just learning from me now. Be sure to pay attention to the color border around enemy portraits. This will give you the tip off of which skills will be the most effective against them. So that's all we got to use is that's all we got to know is like the formula for that and we'll be fine we'll be freaking fine i'm sorry i didn't mean to offend all right i should remember you aren't from here and don't know anything just practice what I gave you. You will soon be able to learn your first skill. Thank you, Aranya. You're welcome. Now run along. Start honing your skills. I may need to make use of them one day. Last car is updated. You can take the ferry if you get yourself a transit pass. And where can I get one of those? Something tells me that a new skill is going to be required. Good luck. All right, so let's check out. Let's check out our skills. No lie, we got Igni skills. Learn psychic manifestation. Okay, lightning, lightning base type element. Okay, we can heal. Okay, absorb Igni damage to healing. Wow, and now, and we got skill slots. Not not too much skills, but just enough. To get us um get us going and we don't have that crying and screaming no more so i was right about that i was right this is dope so let me i think i have a hunch so blue is strong against red and yellow yellow is strong against green and blue so we gotta watch out for red and blue that's what we need to watch out for so my question is this is this random like like our element is it random or this is you know scripted because if this was random man that'd be dope that'd be that'd be even freaking doper so red and blue we gotta watch out hey have you seen the man around here i could have sworn he went into that building Someone in there? Yeah, man in there owes me money. Huh? Someone older than me? The man I'm looking for stood me up on a date. You can't be the one I'm looking for. You're too young. Um, I was the only boy in there. Dang, well, he could have gone far. Help me look for him. What is wrong with this chick? She is, she is out of it. <laughs> Level up. Okay, books are all blank. Weird. Okay, so we got to 
get a transit pass. From where? Do we get it from here? Or we go back to that? Oh, we go back to the dock. Yeah, it makes sense. The ferry, water, transit, mobile docks. Do 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 do. I hope we could have to come back here. Lock. If you can't afford one, you can probably steal one from the news station. They are so rich, they probably won't even notice. Not that I condone unethical economy. Really? And what are you doing? Is it unethical? Alright, the newsroom was over this way. I think got that fast we were just at the newsroom too cause I remember it these buildings nah it's over here it's in this town that's where it was planners park was it here that's a gunshot. That's the nah, he need a password. Laundry man. There's a newsroom. Alright, so he has a green aura. Watch it, punk. Okay, where did I steal this thing at? Oh, I gotta kill him. There's nothing here. thought of that be honest I'm not even lying I'm glad we could learn it my goodness 
Yo, we got. Oh, we got. Here we go with the double attack. There we go. <laughs> it's all good. I think you already proved yourself as a worthy developer to even have a double attack skill. So. Don't worry about it, my friend. I don't know why I guard for. I meant this. Oh, it's a cool down, really? Yeah, we need we need the double attacks, or it won't be an RPG game. Really, the cooldown even lasts to after battle. That's very strict. Yes. Kit rocks. Thank you, man. Thank you. I think it would have been. It would have been, um, it would took me a while to even figure that. That's, that's definitely, um, maybe should have a suggestion bar at that point. Let the player know what they're doing. All right, so we got the transit pass. So do we use it here? Yep. And she dressing like that. I don't think he went this way. He might be closer than you realize. It's okay if we don't find him. It's just nice to be able to leave mobile for a while. I don't go out as often as I used to. Why is that? It's personal, but I've been hurt before. Why do you, you know, your work? Being a sex worker? No, men are easy. Fun too. That's not what I mean. There's certain things about me that I don't like to share with people, especially clients. It doesn't matter how you make your money. Someone's going to try to take advantage of you when they find out your, your weakness. I'm sorry. Chuckles. For what, baby? If I did anything to hurt you by mistake. That's sweet. Don't worry your little sweet head about nothing, baby. It's the world that got, got it wrong. Not you, boo. Maybe. 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 Uh-oh. Finally got that cue we were trying to get. So we got to go all the way back to Mr. Solomon. But let's talk to the doctor first. Let's see if Jared Mill do. Okay, he's, he's probably back at Solomon's house. Solid gonna be like, you did it. Really? Not here. What could he be? This cave? Okay, we're at Solomon's house. Maybe he's somewhere on this map. 
Okay, he's in here. In the weed house. Whoa. I think we should back cross to stabilize the height of that female. Oh, hey, Omelette. What's up? Is, um, is this pot? What? Where? I, uh, um, quit sweating over easy. Something you need? Yeah, I met with Aranya and she told me about Bremen Vale. Scramble, you move quick. Can you tell me where I could find him? Yeah, I mean to tell you. It's not that easy to describe. It's like on a marshy island down the river. Hmm. Let's go talk inside. I think you might want to come too, F. Sure thing. You go ahead. We'll catch up. Not before I get this chest. And ass. Let's freaking go. I see we might be able to talk, chop down some trees and start crafting some items. I really think that's what's about to happen. That's what's going to happen. I think so. I think I've been here before. All right, so I've been thinking a bit about messing the portal and how... Hey, Agoja, I didn't think I'd see you here. Hey, baby, I'm sorry, but do I know you? Yeah, it's me, Solomon. Sorry, baby, I'm not... It's okay, I know. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Really? Good, good. Good to see what brings you to my cash. I got lost tracking this John that stiffed me. Nobody takes advantage of my girl's weakness. Thanks, baby. I think I need to let it go. This kind, this kind boy has been helping me track him, but I don't have a lead. Well, you're welcome to crash here if you need a place to catch your breath. Thanks, baby. That means a lot. Need to put some clothes on. <laughs> so I was thinking about you being here and what that means for me. See a lot of myself. No, that's a dumb thing to say. Your journey so far is reminiscent of mine. It's moving quicker, but you had a head start. It had just got me thinking a lot about what I used to care about. It's just that. Well, it's complicated. Look, before we can even have this conversation, we're going to need a way to get the Bremen Veil. You're going to need to build a raft. I knew it. Go to my bookshelf, take that basic survivor guide, I'll tell you how. I think I already got that. Nice to meet you. He can help you gather the parts. We'll talk more once you're ready to embark. Okay, you need to buy a handsaw from town. Shape them lumber planks. I don't got any money. Five bits. You cheap, man. I thought we were going to chop the tree. Like those trees down with the hand at. That's what I thought we were going to do. I think we still are. I think we still are. Okay, that's where probably Bremen Vale live at. Right there, that town down there. Not the RS, but not that house. It may be the RS store.
But I have a feeling. Um, let me go. Just want to see something. Oh, we don't. I thought we chopped these trees down. We don't. Let's go back. Let's not get far ahead of ourselves, D7. Okay, we get the logs. Shape them the lumber plane. Okay, where we get the logs from? Where we get the logs? Right here. But they already been chopped. Oh, Lair token. What? What kind of token we got? Oh, flare to okay, I see. I see. I see. No hint yet. No hint. I figured. Okay. It might be. No. Know what? I think we got a craft of axe. Craft lumber. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I would say here. Let me pass, but I may be freaking wrong. Okay, trees found in the wild. I mean, I only been to certain places. I mean, for that. So, the most reasonable place should be probably here. I doubt it. No. Unless I'm hitting the wrong button or something. It gotta be like a forest area. I'm glad I came back here though. Cause I seen like I'm missing I miss some stuff. Nope. Figure that log. But it clearly says we gotta cut the tree. That's what the dev said. There's plenty of trees to cut. 
And we took the long way. This is good because you want you want to see people try to figure some things out with your game. And you want to take note how long it would take for them to figure it out. Very important. Of course you know because you're the dev. But it may be here. Trees. Trees. Oh, that would have been funny though because it's all his his marijuana plants they probably have us killed okay maybe we gotta cut some in town eating These looking trees. Okay. Nice. I knew I'd figure it out. Just gotta search and look. Is that all the tree we could count, cut? Okay, we gotta make logs. trees to cut down Cause we need eight so that's four trees that's uh, that town only had one are you serious does it respond You guys to be kidding me. Exactly. I know. That's why I tell. That's why I tell. Um, I be trying to tell the some developers like you know you want you want to see them definitely see how they react because you know. You know what to do. I don't know what to do, so. So I eventually figure it out. Honest, I will. That's why I had to tell right thing in, in his, like, in his game, I noticed there was a habit of the characters giving little hints how to be the boss. That's good and all, but that makes the battle so easy. Once you know, instead of having to figure out the weakness and stuff like that, giving out a hint would definitely take the true challenge out in the battle. Like, give the player Get the player a time, you know, a chance to uh, figure that out on his own. Because I, I, I wouldn't want to create a battle, especially a boss, if everybody beat them on the first try. No. Bosses are meant to be, like, difficult and pose a true challenge to any player. Whether it's RPG maker or whatever. Boss is supposed to be a step higher than the rest. So I think I'm running out of trees. 
<laughs> oh, I'm good. I got that freaking rap, baby boy. Let's go. Okay, you get all the trees you need along the river shore. Once you got it along, okay, I already got it. Oh shoot, I'm tripping. I got my raft, so what you're saying? Okay, have the rap. What's the next thing I gotta do? Southwest, I knew you would. Why do I get the impression I'm doing your errands? No, no, you still retrace my steps. Trust me, you wouldn't want to ride on my decades old route. Best we travel on a new one. We, are you actually coming with me? better i'm taking over after all this was my story before it got signed see i i knew i was like hold on man like ain't solomon i thought solomon was gonna be the main character to be honest i don't worry about a thing capital d will help plop this baby in the river right long outside my house pile on and cruise down bremen vale you learn about anything and get up speed. We'll pick right up where I left off, stabilizing the gate. Fine. I just want to get home. Stick with me and we'll get you there, little buddy. So Solomon. I don't want to be alone right now. Of course, Angosia. No one ever turns down an extra party member. Thanks, baby. looking forward to it yeah um i was like hold on ain't this supposed to be solomon's game like what, what's going on but i really like that i really like that that twist in the uh the story it's mini game time baby mini game what okay Aw, oh, ain't this cute. We could slow down, speed up. Oh man, we lose all that money. Stop. I need my biddies. I need my Bitcoin. No. Come on, dude. You got to be kidding me. I'm impressed with that. That's pretty dope. It seemed like the uh, the grass is going forward where it should be like going backwards. Gonna hoof it. Okay, there's some poison snakes. No, we gotta explore, y'all. Alright, making sure we we can learn some new skills. Defense patch. Buff allies defense. I need attack. Gyro attack. 
guess we'll learn that. Oh man, we should have saved for that. Well, we need a RAM chip. We don't have any. So the Garo attack and the Rude attack and all that stuff is just basically another fancy way of saying this is the element attack. So let me let me look at something real quick. Element, so Rude is strong against yellow and green. So he's paler, blue and red. And we are no blue. Gotta get used to this. My goodness. Green and yellow. Green and purple. Small mushroom. Leveled up. Banana is red. Oh shoot, there's a snake on the ground too. Snake is purple. So that's um yellow. This fruit from Nana Fly. Look like Sol something that Solomon will wear. Yeah, since he's the only one that don't have like headgear, we'll give it to him. So blue and yellow. Yo. So all these enemies hand drawn, cause they, they definitely do look hand drawn. Oh, he ran away like a coward. Did I see something flashing right there on that log? You seeing stuff, D7. You seeing stuff.
See, one thing, I just got to get used to the... I know... I'm probably picking the wrong weakness and stuff, but it's something new. The colors. I just, you just, there's something that you gotta get used to. I, I eventually, like, I know me. I eventually, like, figure out, like, a secret, some type of pattern that helped me remember. What is what? But it gotta be like a simpler way to like remember. Error, error. Oh, shoot. I knew you could jump. I just didn't think you could jump here. Wow. Uh-uh. Give me my cube. I want all mine. See, this is a game changer here. Only one other person have made it as far as you, D7. Don't nobody make it far as me. That's a fact. Antidote, let's go. That's a fat jack. Uh oh. Uh oh. Brimming Veil. Let's go. Is he like a chief? He might be a chief. Maybe a boss. A boss fight too. What the hell? Old. And he gonna wait for me? Really, dude? Oh, we got frost. And we still got the upper hand. starting to do some damage though and they all red so I would say Garo Error, 
I'm gonna get it. I already got perfect before, so leveled up. I already got a perfect already, so I'm pretty satisfied with that. So I don't know what do we jump here or if there's another box we send over. I don't know. It may seem like there's another box we send over. Ron Loon, what's going on? I knew it. I knew it. And he waiting. Okay, we gotta come from up here and come around and probably just push that box over. Nice little puzzle. See, you got the puzzle mechanics. It's a plus. I like it. I like it. Definitely gives us, you know, a great way to explore your levels. This is a very uh, interesting level, matter of fact. How did we get that? Okay. No biggie. Oh man, this is, this is something bigger. I don't know. I don't know. There's something that we probably may have to come back and do. I don't know how we could jump down there. But it's pretty dope. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Here I live free and true to my higher self. Oh, this is dope. See through tent. Hey man, you should come back for dawn meditation. Look, these look like hippies. It's like he, um, uh, the guy been here since what the fifties, forties. Yeah, he been here since the the fifties, the seventies. I mean, he probably got that hippie, the sixties. He probably still got that hippie men, that hippie mentality. That's what I think. Because he's free, you know, the, you got a naked woman. You got a naked woman right here saying that she don't need to put nothing on. Then you got to do with a tie-dye shirt on. So, if that's not a hippie, I don't know what it is. Yay. Definitely. Oh snap, we found a ram chip in the trash. You know what that mean. <laughs> we can learn uh a decent attack. What what can we learn? Pray? We can learn that now. That's 20. Man. Hair, a garrow burst of healing. This heals. This hits all. This heals all. I want to learn this. We need a healer. I'm sorry. I could. I could get the points back. It just points. Remember, thinks too good to teach us, but I'm much happier now that Connor has taken over here. Oh, almost missed that though. Cheesy broccoli. Ain't no worries, my man. What's mine is yours, and yours and mine. Please don't tell Connor that isn't vegan cheese. 
Everything is an illusion. Cut the anchor and soar. Could teach us directly with the me. We don't need him. I managed to learn a secret technique that in the spirit of brotherhood I will share with you. For this special gesture, you could press the shift key to channel your brain energy into a tiny projectile. Okay, this stuns enemies. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Let's see that. Printing the shift key ain't nothing happen. Probably can't hit it here. Probably can't hit it here. So, I guess he, okay, we gotta jump over here, Super Mario jump. Man, we jump over here, nope. Did we have to go down? I think we had to go down. Oh. I think this is the end of the road on this side. Let me hit shift again. Shift ain't doing nothing, my not fire. I don't know. Shift is a page up button as well. On a controller, L1, R1, L2. No, she's not. She's not doing nothing. Key bindings config shift, yeah. We're hitting shift. Let me make it. Let me make it. Uh, Z. See if it's, a, if it's an issue with mine. Yeah, she not firing. Hitting control shift. Nothing. Okay. I see we gotta make it here. I see we gotta make it here. But. Yeah, I'm using the controller the whole time. But I'm gonna save it here for now. Because I gotta get up in the morning. Four o'clock. It's 11 o'clock right now. So. Man. This game. I'm definitely going to finish. I'm definitely going to finish. the uh, This demo out. Because. The story. The story is good. And. It's definitely. Um, there we go. It's working with the X button. Let me see the shift. My keyboard's not working, so that's pretty dope. And it's different colors. It's different colors. I guess these are the um the element energies. 
All but yellow. Okay. But, uh... This game is... You say you're gonna make this for free? You gonna make this for free, huh? Oh, man. I mean, to each... To each their own. This, this game is well made. Like... You did a great job. You did a great job, man. I, I, I'm, I'm impressed. Like, I'm impressed. Even, uh, Tribulation RPG said that she'll buy this game if it was. This is a game that she would pay for, and to be honest, this is a game that I would pay for as well. Like. After I played the demo, don't get me wrong. Uh, looking at it visually, you can't judge a book by its cover. You know, we got a lot of, I don't know, a lot of this music is free. I'm not sure you bought this. I'm not even sure you even spent money on this game, but, you know, the time to do some of the stuff and what we're getting. Than what we normally don't get with RPG Maker, man, I, I put I would slap the price tag on this one. You know what I'm saying? I would have I would have snapped one. I would have snapped one. You should have it to where folks can name their price. Like this is amazing. Like he got the icon. He got the '90s. You know, the early Windows 94, 93 icons and, and stuff. And this is the thing. Like, this don't need to be just on Itch. This need to be on Steam. This need to be on Steam, man. Like, this could be on console. It's that good. It's good. You know, this, this game could... It reminds like here, Solar of the Architects. That's that's a uh, that game been out about ten years, but it's on console. The graphics kind of looks like this, but you're, I think this game is better. You know what I'm saying? Man, let me tell you something. Ninja Gaiden Six. You heard of Ninja Gaiden? Uh, three Ninja Gaiden Part Three. Say it came out on uh PlayStation and Xbox first, All right? Nintendo released their version, All right? The ten the Wii U. Matter of fact, it came out on the Wii U. The Sega, I mean, not the Sega, the PlayStation. See, I'm playing this game. I'm thinking about Sega and Super Nintendo. See, that's how you, you, you took me back in the past with this one. Like, the graphics and the music. You took me back to the past. But the PlayStation, the Xbox version of Ninja Gaiden 3 didn't have no blood, no dismemberment, and no cussing. The Wii U version came out. It was chopping heads all. It was saying the F word. It was uh, blood, and this is Nintendo out out doing PlayStation and Xbox on their ported version of Ninja Gaiden Three. You feel what I'm saying? So Nintendo would definitely love this game. It, they would definitely love it. I'm telling you, man. Like I put this on. I I slap this on the on the Steam Store. Quiz quick as possible it's good like it's, it's really it's professionally made i like the layout nothing looks default except aside from some animations that's about it but everything else looks top quality like it's if it, it's its own ip 
you know i really like it i really enjoy playing it you know I, what we like four hours in we like four hours three three four hours i know we're we're, we're up there probably three hours i know the demo is probably about to end soon but man great job like i'm 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 surprised I'm playing all this good content, but it could be the fact that sometimes we we don't care about putting a price on our work, but at the same time, we just want to get the game out. You know, we, we want we want people to play our game. I think that's that's what it is. But me personally, man. Oh, no doubt. But me personally, I would have slapped. I would have slapped a dap. I already saved it, correct? Okay, can you go to the... Or do I gotta hit the F5? Yeah, I think I gotta go to... Hit that. That don't even freaking work. Hold on. Oh. All right. These are the credits for those who have made this game. Stay with game story. Stay made program. Stay with games. Jam fly gas. Some random dude. There's your gut. This no scripts. Neon black. Kino fallen. Angel Olivia. Modern algebra. Mushroom K. Main art. Stay with games. There's your gut. This no art. Lunera. Siliana. Battle animations. Andy Chen. Daddy gut. Devil design. Stay with games. Main music. Joel Stuhler. Steven Spear. This no tracks. JBD artist. Sounds. Okay, additional sound, stay with games. Testing, stay with games. My name here, 2015 Katakawa, RPGmaker.net. Stay with games, thanks for playing. And how long, how long, uh, how long you been working on this? You don't mind me asking. This is too, this is too good. This is good, man. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even lying, bro. Like, ah, just looking at the title screen right here, can't really get much. You can't, you can't really get much about, like, what your game is about, but... Two years, not bad. Two years isn't bad, given the fact that we work, we got school, got families, you know, and most of it, you're a single developer. Two years is not bad. So, oh man. I hate seeing games. I hate seeing games that are good and we just give it away, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I seen worse games. I seen worse games, worse titles get a price tag on on their on their games. This isn't one of those games. Clearly, once you like more people see this game, clearly, I'm pretty sure they'll pay two dollars for it. I understand you want donation, but man, slap this bad boy on Steam. Uh, edit it where you could, you know, in introduce the battle system and um, parts of the story. Even the beginning part is good enough because you already get introduced with the battle system quick. 
Like, 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 not once you bore your player, you bore me. Not once you bore me with um, lore or, you know, nonsense, jabbering. You had your humor, which is a plus. You know, you had me laughing. You know, you had me reminiscing. Then the uh, mechanics are unique, like the the weakness. You know, the different elemental uh, states. Love the icons. You know, love the mapping, the world. It's a lot of freaking work. Now. Marketing in this game would probably be one of the best things you can do. This probably could get you like really taken serious as a developer. And definitely, man, like I really believe a lot of you guys' games definitely belongs on the major consoles. Whether it's RP RPG Maker is an engine just like any other engine. It's just more user friendly. It's just more user friendly, but I mean it's just something to think about as a developer. You know. Nothing wrong with chasing your dream, making video games, making fun games for people to play. And getting recognition. You know. I just. Man. I really think people should be compensated. For their hard work. You know. <clears throat> for their hard work. Even if you got to slap. A. Uh, a ad. You know, slap it with ads. That way you get ad revenue for it. You know what I'm saying? At least you're getting compensated for this for this gem. Man, it's a good game though, but you know, we're not gonna talk about you know, you just gotta go by what your heart feels. You wanna give it to people, have people reminisce and you know, I respect that. I respect that, but man, awesome job. Not really nothing to complain about about the game except um I was expecting different animations or at least some. Some were new. Some were new, but some was default. But that that really doesn't matter because I mean you did a great job overall. Even with default animations, you, you did it. You know, you, you made it exciting. Um, pretty much, I don't, I don't got nothing bad to say about it. I thought I was going to pick and destroy your game, but I was wrong. I was wrong. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. You did a great job, man. And I would definitely finish this out. I don't know. How long I may have left in the game. I don't know if I probably do this a stream or just an upload. It all depends because I got. I got other people. I, I I probably end up finishing it as a stream. I don't think I should have too much longer. But. Two thumbs up dude. Two thumbs up. I really recommend this game. Um, If you would like to play it. I got the download link in the description. It's free. The demo, of course. It's free. It's a demo. Um, please let the developer know what you think about the game on the itch page. Share with your friends. Share with your mom and your daddies. Share with everybody. All right, guys. This your boy, D7. I'm about to go. Lay it down. Hope y'all have a great evening. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. Peace out. <laughs>
<laughs> I tell Sharon, mom and dad. Nah. My dad like the tank games and the airplane and stuff. He ain't gonna play this. They're not gonna play this. All right, guys. Peace out, baby. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that freaking subscribe button. Hit the like. Subscribe. And hit that bell for the notification. So whenever D7 goes live and we play another RPG Maker game from so we got to give the developers some tips and tricks and how to make their games better. I couldn't do it this today. I can't do it. He already did it. He did everything to the T, but you know, we got to help the new developers out and we will be playing another RPG Maker MV game we have not touched. And we also going to be playing um, Law Mage Academy by Varenius. Yes. The large sprites, not the chibi sprite edition, but the large sprites. But I probably go upstairs, lay in the bed, pull up uh, this game, Paradise Delta, and watch other uh, people play it while I drift off. But all right, I ain't going to keep y'all. Y'all have a good one. Appreciate you. See you guys later. Peace out.